Wow, look at my crib! <laughs> I love this! This is absolutely amazing! Alright, and we're back, but before we can around to buy some more stuff, look at this! We actually got our delivery! Oh, no way, look at that! That is definitely the legendary fish! Holy crap, that is huge! Oh god, and we already caught it! Oh my god, this is so hard! Hello everybody, and we are back, back with another episode of Stinky Sasquatch. So, let's carry on the adventure here. Now, before we do anything, I know for a fact that we definitely need some more money. We don't have enough. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is... Let's go at the races. Let's try to do some more races, why not? Um, I'm pretty sure I need maybe two stacks of wood. I mean, I do have enough money to buy one stack, but I may need some more to buy the second stack. So before we go out and buy some more stacks of wood... Oh god, you know what? I think I should have ate a little bit as well because we're kinda hungry. Dang it. I don't know if we have any more food though. Uh, you know what? Before we do anything, let's head on out here and grab some food from somewhere. Anywhere, I guess. <laughs> Come on, buddy, just move. No, we don't got time for this. Come on, stop getting in the way of the cyber truck. We got some business to do here. Oh crap, this is the golf course. We don't have to be here. What the heck? We need to head on out and eat some more food. Come on, buddy, we can do this. Now, hopefully we can get past the guards. Ah, uh, we can definitely get past them, never mind. That is awesome. Alright, so where I'm gonna go is... Actually, hold up. Let's just get out of here and go in the ranger station. Right in here. Grab some food from the fridge. There we go. That's the good stuff. What? That one's glitched. <laughs> that one's glitched for some reason. Alright, in that case, I'm not gonna grab that. Uh, what I am gonna grab, though, is some more fruit from up here first, before we do anything. Now, there's a lot more stuff that we gotta do in this game. Uh, we just gotta figure it out, I guess. Let's see. Let's grab this. Let's grab the oranges. I'm gonna try to keep the oranges. I'm not gonna sell it. Hopefully, we can get some good mud out of, off of that. Alright, yeah, no mind me, buddy. Just uh, ranger stealing all your food. Do not mind me. Alright, let's go. Oh, crap. Seriously, we're getting chased because we run, ran that human over? God dang it. I mean, I thought I, w I was ranger. I thought we could do everything. <laughs> anyway, let's just eat a little bit so we can get off this hunger. Uh, we don't really have much, but this should do for now. This should definitely do for now. Let's grab these two pieces and this one. Alright, there we go. Alright, next up, let's just go outside and go to the racing uh, stations. Hopefully we can get ourselves some more money. Come on, buddy. Man, this car is so slow insane I mean it's definitely faster than it was before we upgraded it but still not fast enough we also need to figure out where the last hidden chests are I think we have three chests left to find I just don't know what to look for them though come on buddy all right there we go uh, before we do anything, let's just grab our speed car here. Because this is the one that we're gonna need to use for the races. And next up, let's have a chat with this dude. Oh, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna steal his car. I just wanted to chat with him, but apparently we cannot do that. This guy, we've already beat him, so... Yep, we got lucky, apparently. Let's just go all the way up here. I know that there was one dude on these benches that we could maybe chat with, play some bets with. Let's see. Watching races all day makes me hungry. If someone were to bring me bacon and eggs, I would pay top dollar. 
I love racing so much. If they were cooked on an engine, I would pay triple. Come back anytime if you've got any any for me. Huh. So how can we make sure the bacon is gonna get kicked on the engines? That's interesting. I may have to check that out and see if we can do that. That's interesting. Alright, in that case, let's keep on going this way and see what we can find. There's nothing hiding back here. But uh, what I am gonna do next is jump on some races, why not? See if we can make some more money. Some easy money, that is. Alright, buddy. Let's get going. So to the right is the podium. Right here we have the licenses. And the racing. Let's just go with this one. Uh, so next up we gotta do... Damn. I wish I could do the other one. I wish I could do this one as well, but... We don't have license D and it's not raining. So the last one we could do is the mountain pass. So let's just go with this one. Alright, there we go. There we go, buddy. We got our speed car, so we're definitely going to be able to do this one real fast. Sorry about that, buddy. Sorry about that. We just need to finish this up so that we can grab ourselves some money. So everybody should just stay off our way. Oh god. Alright, we're almost done. And... crap. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Come on, buddy. There we go. Easy money. I wish you could do multiple races like this one. I mean, they are really short and they're definitely a way to get some money. You're definitely not going to lose these rounds. So if I'm going to be able to do some more of these, that would be awesome. Let's just try and see. Alright, so what races do we have next? We have this one, 250 for 8 laps. I mean, this is way too difficult for 8 laps. I definitely don't want to do the, that one, but I do want to go for this one. Because we have a supercar and we're surely going to win this one. So let's just grab this one real fast. And after we're done with this one, I think we're going to make ourselves 450 gold coins. In just a few minutes, which is really good. It's definitely way, way better than fishing, that's for sure. But uh, you just gotta have patience to do all this stuff, because... Doing these races on and on might just uh, drive you insane a little bit. Or dizzy, if not insane. At least fishing and looting is a little bit more fun. Alright buddy, come on, we can do this. I want to get into the second guy. There we go. <laughs> Damn, these guys are so slow compared to this guy, to this car at least. Alright, final lap. Let's go. Let's give me some money. And there we go. Easy money. Right, we got ourselves some more coin. Let's keep going here. So let's see, how many races can we do? Uh, once again, this one I don't want to do. It's just way too many laps for not that big of a reward. This one is just 150. 75. This one is for free, but still, the reward is not that big. Hmm. I mean, we can still do this one again, the mountain pass. This one is really easy to do for 200 coins, so let's just do this one again, why not? I think I'm just gonna skip all this and keep on going with these races until we get enough money to upgrade our house again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am gonna go with that. So, uh, you know what guys, I'll see you in just a little bit here once we're done with the races.
Alright, and we're done with the races. Uh, before we carry on, all I want to say is that all I did was, uh, let's see, this right here, the mountain pass. Now, if you do this pass multiple times, I mean, this one takes you like 25 seconds or less, if you're fast enough. And you're getting like 200 coin every 25 seconds, so yeah, this is the one I went with. I mean, yeah, you could go with the ones that are worth more, but for these, you need the other driving licenses. And since these driving licenses are so difficult to take, I'm not gonna even bother taking them. Um, I, I, I don't know if you can do this multiple times even. I have a feeling, maybe if you do, you, this is one is gonna be pretty difficult. So, um, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about that one. So, that's what I've did. So, now that we have enough money, before we head on out and go buy ourselves some more wood, uh, let's just go all the way here, because as I was doing those races, I also took the time to find some more bacon. Bacon that I also cooked to bring to this guy and sell. Let's see how much money we can get out of it. Alright, let's see. I love racing. Oh, I can smell you got some. I pay 180 for everything you got. Alright, so there's some more money off of him. Perfect. Easy money. Thanks, pal. Don't worry about it, buddy. Look at how many bacon I brought him. That is awesome. I mean, that's also some easy money you can make. I I don't really know how much money would the uh, bear have given me for that, but I'm pretty sure he would not pay as much as this dude. So, uh, let's just make our way to the sawmill then. At the moment we have about 300 bucks, 300 coins, something like that. And I think that should be enough in order for us to buy some more wood. So, uh, once again, I think I'm just gonna skip all this. Make my way to the sawmill, get all the wood we can get, and bring it all, all the way back home. Alright, there we go. And we are back with a full stack of wood. Perfect. Now, we need one more small one. So, uh, let's just head on out back to the sawmill and purchase the last one. Actually, hold up. Do we have enough coin? Yeah, we do. Alright, then let's go. Alright, there we go. And we got ourselves the last uh, stack of wood. Let's just get this one delivered. Perfect. And next up, let's build ourselves the next level house. So the next level house is this one, right? Large house upgrade. So let's just get that. Alright team, let's get to work. There we go, buddies. There we go. Holy crap. This one is huge. Wow, look at my crib. <laughs> I love this. This is absolutely amazing. Now, of course, since we have such a big house now, Fortunately, we don't have to spend any more coin on upgrading the house, but what we have to do is upgrade the rest of the stuff. Such as uh, creating a road for ourselves, creating some more stuff for, uh, for the bear as well. Let's just check it out what else we can build here. I am gonna need some more wood, but also I am gonna need some more money. Let's see, so what we gotta do next is... So we have the small house, but we have the large house. Next up, we need 1,000 coins to build the driveway. We need some more wood to build up the carport. Flower garden. Interesting, I really want to have that. And a bear shelter. And repair signs. Snack shack. And stone path. I will need a whole lot of coin, but before I do anything else, you know what? I want to build some flowers here. This is definitely going to improve our house and make it look better. Alright, there we go. This definitely looks much, much better. I love this. Look at this. This place looks awesome. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just make our way to the racing track. I want to try something. Because this is actually what I've been doing off camera, of course, so that I could get myself some coins. I found that doing this race here, the mountain race, this is the uh, easiest way and the fastest way to get more coins. So, uh, let's just see here. I mean, I think I got myself really close to 10,000 coins so far. I mean, I did get about 10,000 coins, but I had to spend a little bit because I went off and bought some more wood. So, now that we've done with this, we've done with uh, doing these uh, races, let's uh, get to spending. We're finally going to be able to do some spending here. 
And before I carry on with the adventure here, I just wanted to take some time and say thank you all very much for watching the series. You guys have been really enjoying the series so far apparently, and uh, although this is gonna be the end of it for now, I will definitely come back to it once the developers um, bring some more updates and some more stuff for us to do. So uh, I'm just gonna make my way to Lumbermere, to the sawmill at the moment, grab myself some more wood, and uh, once we're done with that, I'm just gonna spawn right back home. Alright, so let's just go do that. Alright, there we go, and we are back, and I think this is gonna be the last piece of the wood that we gotta carry. I mean, I hope we do have enough. Uh, let's just see what upgrades we can do. Actually, hold up, before we do some upgrades, we can do some fishing here. Because we definitely need this big boy here. Come on, buddy. What the heck? I'm not able to grab him. What the crap? There we go. And we got him. Alright. So let's see. What else can we construct here? So we have the home constructed. In order for the driveway, we need a thousand coin. That's quite a bit of coin. But we can do this thing just to cover up for our car. But first, let's see, I would really want to create a uh, bear shelter. Mm. And I would really love to have this as well. This is more lovely than a driveway. Let's just go with this one first. Alright, there we go, look at this! This is actually really good. I love it. Alright, and next up, let's create a shelter for, for the bear. He definitely needs a shelter, poor guy. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, next up is gonna be the uh, bear shelter. Let's do that. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's just go and check it out for a second. I wanna see how it looks. Look at this! This is really cool. I love it. Alright, and next up, I think we have... I mean, we still need 1,000 more for the driveway. And also, let's see what else we can construct here. So we need 1,000 for the driveway, and we need some more wood for the carport. And some more wood for the repair signs, and a little bit more wood for the snack shack. Hmm. I mean, you know what, let's go with... Let's go with the carport. Alright. Alright, there we go. So this has been done. Look at that. This looks awesome. Love it. Now our car is going to be protected from the rain. And next up, what else can we do? Let's see. No, no, buddy. <laughs> Don't run over the duck. What the heck? Uh, next up, we need to... Create repair signs. Campsites. Campsites. Well, I guess we can do this. We have some extra wood, so why not? Alright, there we go. Now, I created those signs. I'm not quite sure exactly where they are, but, um, that's okay. We know that they've, they've been built, so no problem about that. Let's keep on chatting with the guy. Let's see what else we can create here. Alright, so we're almost done. The one we could do is this one. I mean, we do have enough wood. And it's just 2,050. It's just 250 coins, so let's just do this on one out. I'm curious if we're gonna be able to grab the snacks for free. Alright, there we go. And we have the uh, snack thingy, but I don't really know what it's been built. Maybe it's inside the house? Let's see. No, it's not inside the house. Alright, anyway, that's okay. And the last update we can do is, let's see here, is definitely the driveway. So I am gonna do that just because that's the last update we can do. And I want to finish up with all the updates, so let's just do this one. Driveway. I know this is a little bit so expensive, but it should do. Hopefully we have enough money to buy ourselves uh, whatever we need. Alright, so we are done with this. Look at this, and now our car is so fast when we want to leave this place. That is awesome. Freaking love this. Alright, next up, uh, let's just make our way to the shops. Let's see what we can buy for here. I know this car is a little bit slow, but the reason I'm going with the truck at the shops is because I want, I'm want i not sure if I need to have a truck in order to carry all the stuff that uh, we're gonna buy. I have a feeling we might just need the truck in order to carry it. Let's see here. Oh god, sorry about that buddy. Sorry about that. 
That was not my intention. Now the thing is, I totally forgot about the prices of the uh, of the furniture here. Not quite sure uh, how high the prices are gonna be. Let's just see. So here we have the furniture warehouse. All right, so it's a thousand coin for. Actually, it's a thousand fifty for the fridge. It's a thousand for a stove. Ooh, a hundred coin for some flowers. Two fifty for a bed. A thousand for a big bed. Wow. All right, we got a lot of uh, money to spend here, so let's go with this one first. You can store food in the fridge, and it will stay cold. Holy crap, that is awesome! So now, we can actually store some stuff in our home, not to have to sell it all. If you want to save some stuff in the fridge, you can simply put it in there. You want to buy it for 1,500? One, yeah, buddy! <laughs> I can see you know quality. That's a great product you selected there. We offer an extended warranty for an additional 299 What? You can never be sure. I always get one just in case. Sometimes twice. Do you want to get extended warranty? Uh, no. Oh, too bad. We won't be able to ship this to your house for a few days, at least. But you're in luck. Today's only having a sale on express shipping. Only $3.49. What the heck? Wow, these guys are ripping me off. You wanna get express shipping? No! Ah, oh, too bad. Well, I'm sure it'll arrive in a few days. <laughs> wow, what a jackass! Okay, never mind. Let's uh, keep on buying here. You can cook all kinds of things with this stove. It has an easy clean gas range, too. Do you wanna buy for a thousand? Yep. Alright, so we got the stove. What the crap does this guy do want again? Extended warranty. I don't want extended warranty, buddy. Come on. You want to get extended warranty? No. Damn. I want. Ex I don't want shipping. Come on, buddy. I got my own truck. Dang it. This guy is such a ripoff. All right. Let's buy the plants. Once again, this guy is gonna come here and try to sell me some stuff, which I don't want. Wow. What a jackass. Right, next up, let's buy the large bed. Doo -doo. Oh my god, we're running out of money. I don't know if I'm gonna need more, but uh, I think I am actually gonna need more in order to buy some more stuff because this one right here is 1,300. Hmm, I don't know what to say about that. I think I do want a table. You could eat inside your house on this table. Looks like it's made out of teak. Well, we definitely need some, um, we definitely need the table so that we can eat inside the house. And not have to go around and look for tables where we can eat. Right, so we got this one. Uh, this one right here is... Locked. What? Oh, that's all for today. I think uh, it's too late. Yeah, that's why we cannot... Um, that's why we cannot buy anything anymore. I get it, I get it. Alright. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna... Um, Skip all this. I'm gonna go all the way back home here. Let's see. And before I go shopping, I think I'm gonna have to uh, go on a racing spree again so that I can get myself some more, some more coins. Right. So let's just sleep here real fast, and I'm gonna be back at the shop in just a second. All right, and we're back. But before we carry on to buy some more stuff, look at this. We actually got our delivery. Delivery. <laughs> All right, are we gonna be able to get out of here? There we go. Hello, I got a delivery here for uh, Mr. Sasquatch. Am I saying it that right? Yeah, buddy. Please sign here, and the packages are yours. Ooh, look at this. We got the fridge, the stove, the plan, the double bed, and the dining table. Awesome. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a big old signature. Yep, this is our signature. <laughs> All right. Are we done with this or hold up? There we go. That's quite the signature. Well, bye. <laughs> All right, so if you go inside the house, look at this. Holy crap, we got everything delivered. 
I mean, we still have a little bit of stuff more to grab, uh, but first, let's have something to eat because we are really starving right now. So thankfully that fishy filled us up a little bit. Now, before we do anything, let's uh, head on out back to the shop because I did a little bit of uh, coin looting off camera, of course, and I got myself 3,000 coin more. So let's see if we can finish up uh, buying everything that is in the shop here. Now I'm pretty sure that the developers will really soon release an update, letting us uh, go inside the town and do some more stuff. Alright, so next up we gotta buy this. Do you wanna buy the wardrobe for... Actually, hold up, let's buy this first. Rugs would really tie the room together. Alright, let's buy it. Now once again, the storekeeper is gonna come here and try to sell us some more services, which I'm not really interested in. I'm just gonna skip all that. Okay, there we go. Um, I mean, why do I need these beds? Leave the childhood dream of sleeping on top of bunks. <laughs> I mean, I don't want this. I do prefer my big bed. Uh, so next I am gonna buy... You can put whatever you want on this desk. Maybe something can go on top later. You wanna buy it for $500? Or 500 coins, I should say. Alright, let's keep the services. Perfect. And next up is this. This is gonna be the last one. The last thing we can buy here. Because I'm not gonna buy the bug beds, that's for sure. Alright, let's keep all this. I don't need no services. And I th think we're kinda done here. We got everything we wanted. So uh, that is awesome. Now, next thing is a backpack. I would really love to change my backpack color, and I think I'm gonna go with the white one right here. I don't know, this one looks really stylish. So yeah, look at that. This one looks really awesome. We're definitely on a shopping spree right now. <laughs> Take a look around, let me know if you want to buy anything, come back anytime. Alright buddy, I don't want anything else. Unfortunately, all this stuff, the rest of the shops here are closed. And of course, the, uh, the, uh, the bridge that goes to the town is also closed. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm saying that I'm pretty sure that an update is soon to be released by the developers that would allow us to use the bridge and go to the town. Now, before we carry on... As you guys know, I've been asking in the comments how to freaking get the, uh, the legendary fish. And thankfully to you guys, I now know. I know exactly what I gotta do. So let's just make my way to that location. Uh, to the campgrounds, I think. Or actually, not to the campgrounds. I gotta go at the uh, waterfall. And I think I should go through right here. Oh god. Hopefully this guy's not gonna catch me. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And let's keep on going. Now, what I am gonna do here, hold up. Let's switch clothing real fast because I don't want the rangers to chase me. Alright, next up, let's catch this big fish because this is gonna be worth a lot of money. And once we're done with this one, I'm just gonna... Oh, crap, seriously? Come on, buddy. I was just about to catch him. And once I'm done with these fishies, I'm just gonna make my way to uh, the legendary fish. And hopefully we can finally catch him and finish up our uh, collection book. There we go, buddy. We got a salmon. That's really expensive. Let's grab some food because we are kind of hungry. Right. Let's grab this food as well. Perfect. And also let's grab this one as well. Why not? There we go, perfect. And I think I'm also gonna eat it, just so that I can fill up my hunger meter. Come on, buddy. There we go, we got these two. And a pizza. And the meat. Alright, perfect. And now, so you guys said that if I make my way through the river, all the way down through here, I'm gonna find the, um, the legendary fish. Alright. Oh, you know what? This area wasn't wasn't really open, actually. That's why I wasn't able to find the legendary fish. Huh. This is really interesting. So maybe this is the one? I mean, I'm pretty sure that the legendary fish is gonna be a big, big fish. Yeah, this is definitely not the sturgeon. 
So let's just keep on looking. Maybe we gotta be lucky. Oh, no way. Look at that. That is definitely the legendary fish. Holy crap. That is huge. Oh, God. And we already caught it. Oh, my God. This is so hard. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, Sasquatch. We can do this. No, 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 no. Where, where are you going? Holy crap. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Holy crap. We got the surgeon. Wow. That was not easy. That was definitely not easy at all. Damn. Alright, well, we finally got it. So, uh, I want to say thank you guys for letting me know about this. I mean, I did pass by this this uh, river entrance here. And the previous time when I passed through here, it was kind of closed, I think. And uh, that's why I never thought of coming back here. But apparently, I had to do this. In order to get the surgeon. Alright, and on this side, we got a hidden stash. Perfect. Actually, you know what? About this hidden stash, I do know the location of two more hidden chests that I'm gonna make my way to right now. Once I'm done with this. So let's see, there's nothing uh, hiding around here. No, no more chests or anything. Although, this would have been a wonderful place to, uh... To just place a hidden chest. Anyway, let's just make our way to the hidden locations for the remaining hidden chests. I know that one of them is located all the way at the campgrounds, at the top level of the campgrounds. So let's just try to make our way there. All right, there we go. So if you keep on going straight here. There we go. Actually, no, oh, god dang it, I messed up. Uh, you know, since I messed up, let's go to the golf course because the other hidden location was right here somewhere. All the way at the top of the golf course. So let's just take the cart right now. There we go. Come on, buddy. We can do this. Alright, there we go. So I think that the other uh, chest location was all the way up top here somewhere. Let's grab all this because we are going to need some more food real soon. Now, a really awesome way to make some extra money was to also look for bacon. And after you find your bacon, just... Um, just make sure you cook the bacon on a, on a car's engine, just like this one. But actually, uh, you cannot do it on the golf course, on the golf carts. You gotta, you gotta find yourself an actual car. Right now, this is the chest we gotta open. Unfortunately, this one is locked. And in order to unlock it, we have to do this right here. And I think we gotta do this one in one shot. So let's see if we can do this. Man, doing this with a touchscreen is much, much easier than with the Geek Controller. That's for sure. Holy crap, this is not easy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We can do this. Anyway, let's try it again. Come on, buddy. We can do this. Alright, there we go. This one should be perfect. There we go, we got it! And we unlocked ourselves another chest. Awesome, and look at all the freaking coin! I mean, I don't really need any more coin at the moment. <laughs> we kind of purchased absolutely everything we could. Alright, perfect. We got this one. Oh, you know what? We actually need two more chests to find. The problem is, I only know the location of one more. Mm, but I'm pretty sure that there should be another one around somewhere. Not quite sure where though. Not quite sure where. So unfortunately, we gotta find two more hidden chests. I mean, I know exactly where one of them is. But I got no clue where the last one is located. Uh, let's just go around here a little bit and look around. I think the last chest should be around here somewhere. I don't know why I have this feeling, but... It definitely feels like it should be around here somewhere. Maybe here on the right? Have we been here? Oh yeah, look at that! I knew it! I knew that there should be a thing like that. Alright, so let's just try this one then. Oh my god, this one is not gonna be easy. That is for sure. 
Uh, let's try this, let's try this then. Let's see what we can do. Come on, buddy, we can, we can do it. Wow. Holy crap, that was close. Come on, buddy. This one is the one, come on. This is definitely the one. There we go, finally. Holy crap. That was not easy. That took so many tries. Dang it. But uh, look at that. We got so many coins. Alright, let's grab this. Let's grab this bad boy. Perfect. We got 15 out of 16. And uh, next up, I think I'm gonna make my way straight home here. Why not? The reason I'm doing this is because we need to rest up a little bit. And then make our way to the campground so that we can finish up the secret chest collection. So let's just do this real fast. Alright, we're good. Uh, let's eat up real fast before we do anything else. Damn, we also have to give the sturgeon to the fisherman. Let's eat this up. Let's eat the final meat piece. There we go. Alright, and right now all we gotta do is make our way to the fisherman and the last treasure chest. So first of all, before we do anything actually, let's grab some more food because we're running quite out of food. This should do, and I'm also gonna grab all this food as well. Since it's ready for us. Already cooked. Alright, come on buddy. There we go. Now, also, before I carry on here, if you guys are wondering how, do you how you can cook your bacon, you just gotta open up, pop the hood of your car like that. Uh, nope, not do that. <laughs> just pop the hood like that, and then grab your bacon, put it right here, and this is just gonna make it worth more. If you sell this bacon cooked on, a, on an engine like that, you can sell it to a guy at the, um, at the racing track for much higher. And look at the uh, front of the vehicle right now, you can see the fumes. Those fumes are because of the bacon. So if you go in here now, look at this, the bacon is actually cooking. That is really good. That is actually exactly what you want. Right, let's get out of here and grab our bacon before it burns out. And this bacon here is going to be really expensive. If you sell it to the proper guy, that is. Alright, so let's get the heck out of here. Oh god, I didn't want to do that, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And all we gotta do now is make our way all the way at the top of the campgrounds. Alright, and if you go all the way up here, actually not here, my bad, you gotta go to the right on this side. And you have this clearing. And look at this. There we go. This is gonna be the last chest. I've actually discovered all these chests by doing um, off-camera looting. And we're done. Look at that. We got 16 out of 16 secret caches. Awesome. That is absolutely wonderful. Alright, so the last step that we gotta do, of course, is to just uh, deliver the, uh, the sturgeon to the fisherman. And I think this will just, and I think this will allow us to have the game completed 100%. I mean, for now at least, until the developers will release some more updates and uh, open up the town for us. I gotta tell you guys, this has been a really awesome series, and I've been really enjoying playing Sneaky Sasquatch. And more than this, I am really, really happy that you guys have been enjoying this. Because the amount of support and the amount of new subscribers I've been getting since I created the series, it's been crazy. And um, all I can say is thank you guys very very much for all the support. And I'm definitely gonna keep on playing this game once the update is out. But uh, also, if you guys wanna see more games like this, if you guys enjoy this type of games, I'm definitely gonna post some more like this in the future. But uh, if you guys wanna see something real similar to this, you can check out my Untitled Goose game. I've actually played that as well, and uh, that game is really, really similar to this one. 
a game you can simply have a lot of shenanigans, do uh, a lot of stupid stuff with a crazy goose. And I've been having quite a lot of fun with that game as well. Alright, let's sell this guy the uh, Sturgeon. Oh, excellent, let me take a look. Sturgeon, that's a good haul. Here's a little something for you. Ooh, a thousand coin! Holy crap, the Sturgeon is worth a lot. Alright. Oh, I just realized. You finished the book? You caught all the fish? You've made this old man very happy. Here, take this as my thanks. And uh, we got the Fisher Disguise. Perfect for fishing. Wow! We also got ourselves the last uh, clothing. This is so freaking cool. I love it. Alright, well, you know what guys? The last thing is left here is just to head on back home here. And uh, before we're gonna be able to do anything, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so this one here is gonna allow us to grab some food and stuff like that, but we do have to pay for it. I'm guessing this is just in case we are uh, very low on food and we desperately need to eat something. So uh, since that's not the case, I'm not gonna do that. And uh, instead, I'm just gonna head on back home here and grab some sleep because I think that the next day we're gonna have some more furniture coming in. So let's see here. Alright, there we go, and I was right. We actually got all the furniture delivered. Delivery! I love this. I freaking love this. Alright, hey buddy. Hey, I got some deliveries for you. Please sign this. So we got the wardrobe, the desk, and the rugs. That is awesome. There we go, there's my signature. <laughs> That's quite a signature. Well, bye! Alright, well, as the delivery man is leaving, let's just head on inside here and check our home. Look at this. This is looking wonderful. And we can now... Actually place some stuff in the fridge. Wow, I love this! Just so that we have some extra stuff inside the house if we need to eat something. This is really awesome. And I love it that right now I can also see all the driving licenses, the map, the car keys in the backpack here. This is really cool. Alright, what about this? So in here we can cook our stuff. In here... I'm not quite sure what this is all about. Oh, we can put some stuff in here. Like what? We can put bacon here? <laughs> I mean, why the heck would I want to do that? Once again, I have a feeling that developers might release some more stuff to the game, some more updates that would allow us to maybe put some trophies around here or, um, I don't know, some random objects. What about this one? Can we interact with this? No. Huh, we forgot to close down the fridge door, man, come on. There we go. Alright, well, you know what guys, I think we're actually gonna have to end up the episode right here, and not only the episode, but the entire series, unfortunately. I mean, once again, I am repeating myself, but once the developers will start releasing some more updates to the game, and uh, allow us to access the town, I'm definitely gonna start playing some more Sneaky Sasquatch, because uh, you guys have definitely been enjoying this as much as I've been. Alright, well, as usual guys, Thank you all very much for watching this episode so far, and also, if you guys have been watching the entire series, I'd like to thank you extra for that. And if you guys are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you all enjoy. Alright, this has been Sneaky Sasquatch, I'll see you all in a new video real soon. Bye!